What is popping YouTube? Bringing you three running back trade targets. If you are a contender in Dynasty Fantasy Football, hit that like button and subscribe button if you like Dynasty Fantasy Football. Starting it off with Aaron Jones, who I think is the perfect running back buy if you are a contender. Because let's be clear, in Dynasty right now, you do not want to be investing into running backs super heavily. Because as we know, you want to build in these super flex formats with your quarterbacks, with your wide receivers. And even if it is one quarterback that you do play in, you do want to still be building your rosters out with those wide receivers. And if you can get some sort of production out of your running back room, that is ideal. Now, if you didn't have a super young build and you are forced, of course, to get some of these veterans to be your running back production, I think Aaron Jones is a great target. Right now on Keep Trade Cut, Aaron Jones is RB33, player 140 overall. He did just switch, of course, from the Green Bay Packers to the Minnesota Vikings. And if we look at Aaron Jones and his actual stats over the last few years, yes, I understand him being 29 years old is not ideal for a running back. But even last year in the 11 games he played, 12.3 fantasy points per game, put him as RB26, which wasn't ideal. But even in those 11 games, he did play banged up even when he was healthy and out there on the field. 4.6 yards per carry, which still means this man still has the juice. If we look at the previous seasons, 2022, 14.6 fantasy points per game, and then 2021, 15.3 fantasy points per game. He was the RB11 on a points per game basis those last two seasons. I think Aaron Jones has top 15, top 8 teen running back finish in his range of outcomes this season even though he is older and you might be able to say Caleb I'm totally in agreement with you he was RB 15 on red zone touches last year even though he only played in 11 games put it in this Minnesota Vikings offense I know a lot of people are worried about Sam Darnold being the quarterback what is this offense going to look like without Kirk Cousins the thing is I really trust their whole coaching staff and I trust the weapons around you still got Justin Jefferson you still got Jordan Addison I know TJ Hawkins is probably not coming back to week 10 but Aaron Jones just feels like the perfect buy low target at his current cost. So I pulled up some trades over here on Dynasty Daddy to give you an idea of what Aaron Jones is going for. We got a two quarterback league 12 team start 10 full PPR half point tight end premium K Dotton for Aaron Jones straight up. Now, if I'm getting Aaron Jones and getting out of K Dotton, holy moly, give me some Aaron Jones. That's a great trade. We got Aaron Jones for the 210 and a future third. Give me Aaron Jones because we just said if you're trying to buy some running back production, taking a shot at the 210, who are you talking about? Like Bucky Irving? Maybe Braylon Allen Falls, but still, I get Aaron Jones, who's a for sure starting running back caliber player on my dynasty team. I like that trade. We move to another one, and we got Aaron Jones for the 301. Goodness gracious, for a third? Now, this is one quarterback for you, one quarterback sickos. So, shout out to that. That's that's an interesting deal in start eight. You got Aaron Jones for Tyler Lockett in the 302. If you need a running back really bad, I mean, Tyler Lockett, of course, has had his good fantasy football days, but that's a pretty good price. And like we said, we do not like investing in running backs, but when you're able to invest in a running running back like Aaron Jones for these prices. It's a no-brainer. Go out, send some offers for Aaron Jones because whoever the Aaron Jones owner is, they might be looking to get out, especially if they're a pretender, not a contender. My next running back you should be buying if you're a contender is going to be James Conner, who is the RB34. He's one spot behind Aaron Jones. And while I hear you, he's also getting up there in age. 28 years old, will be 29 by the time the season starts. James Conner has been nothing but a stud on your fantasy football roster over the last few seasons. 2021, 17.2 fantasy points per game, RB7. 15.4 in 2022, RB9. 15.5 in 2023, RB13 on a fantasy points per game basis. Now, he's been pretty consistent with touchdowns. He's been pretty consistent with the yards per carry. And actually, last year was the highest yards per carry that he's had over the last two seasons. Now, like we said, with these running backs getting older, we do know the age cliff is coming. If it hasn't hit the David Johnson, all of a sudden your athleticism is gone. The Dalvin Cook, boom. These guys are getting up there in age. So it could be happening at any moment. But I think at their current value, at their current peak, with what we're expecting out of Kyler Murray here in his first full season recovered off of that ACL, we still have to see who they add in the wide receiver front, whether they add a Marvin Harrison Jr. or Malik Neighbors in the draft. They still have Trey McBride. There's a lot of good options on this offense. I like some James Conner and Benton on this profile because they haven't added any running back. I imagine they probably add some type of running back in the draft. So maybe it's not the most conducive to go buy James Conner right now. It's always hard to buy running backs right before the NFL draft. I totally hear you on that one. But I mean, at these current prices, give me the upside shots on James Conner. We pull up some Dynasty Daddy to give you some ideas. James Conner for the 209. Give me James Conner. James Conner for Pat Fryermuth. There's no tight end premium. Someone's out here trading away Pat Fryermuth and getting back James Conner. Give me all the James Conner I can get. Someone traded away Jameson Williams and got back James Conner, Amari DeMarcado, and a 25 round three pick. JMO straight up for James Conner. That's an interesting one. But give me James Conner there, especially if you need some running back help. Hollywood Brown 
or James Conner? I mean, depends on how you view it. If you really, really need a running back, give me some James Conner. And then the 208 for James Conner, give me James Conner. Like, I like these prices. You can always get some veteran running backs for late seconds, but especially in this year's class with it being so deep, holy crap. If you need some running back help and you don't want to have to invest a ton of capital to get up into a Brees Hall, Bijan, Jameer Gibbs, Jonathan Taylor, go get some James Conner. Go get some Aaron Jones. Absolutely loving these values with what I'm seeing. My next guy we're going to be talking about is Zach Moss, who signed that contract extension with my Cincinnati Bengals. We got rid of Joe Mixon in with Zach Moss. And Zach Moss, when we saw him step in for Jonathan Taylor this last year, very impressive stats. I mean, week one, 20 fantasy points, 22 fantasy points in week two week four only nine fantasy points but in week five 33 fantasy points week six 17 fantasy points 14 fantasy points in week eight and then of course when Jonathan Taylor really started to get going Zach Moss returned to that RB2 role for the Colts but we did see a ton of life I really like some Zach Moss and he right now I know he's a veteran so he's like a good contender by but he's 26 years old so there is a little bit of juice left in him I know a lot of people in the Bengals organization and even some of you in the comments have said Caleb you are really undervaluing Chase Brown I'm not the biggest Chase Brown guy, and I'm a Bengals fan. I do understand Chase Brown is more explosive than Zach Moss, but Zach Moss is absolutely going to be the hammer that we need in the red zone. And after seeing all the touchdowns Joe Mixon scored over the last two to three seasons, really keeping him really fantasy relevant, Zach Moss is in for a treat. And so I'm super pumped to see what we do with Zach Moss. But when we're looking at him on keep trade cut, player 153, RB36. So he's a little bit cheaper than Aaron Jones and James Conner, but really right there in that same tier. So let me give you some trades that have recently gone down for Zach Moss. We got Zach Moss getting traded for Cortland Sutton. Give me Zach Moss. You got Zach Moss traded for a 2025 round two pick. Give me Zach Moss. We got a 2026 round two pick for Zach Moss. Honestly, Zach Moss, like we said, it's looking already way cheaper than James Conner and Aaron Jones. And I think the upside is very similar. We got a 2025 round two pick for Zach Moss. So if I can go trade a future second, if I'm super needy, if I'm contending, like if you are a contender and need some running backs, Zach Moss is the perfect go get player to add to your dynasty roster. And I know I said three, but I'm going to give you two more players that I think are super valuable here off the rip. We're not going to go as in depth, but Raheem Mostert another one. He signed that extension with the Miami Dolphins. He is up there in age at 32 years old. A lot of people are worried about Devon saying, hey, you know what? Raheem Mostert in that injury history last year might have just been first year Devon as a rookie, got injured a little bit. How are both these guys going to coexist? For me, I just don't, I'm not the biggest Devon guy. I do not think he's going to be able to handle a 65 to 70% workload. And yes, were his metrics absolutely efficient? Yes. But I think Raheem Mostert's still going to have a role here in this next season. I think Raheem Mostert has high end RB2 upside, if not back end RB1 upside, just based Based on what we saw out of this Miami Dolphins offense this last year. And when we're talking about him as RB38 right here on Keep Trade Cut, player overall 170. It's absolutely impressive. I mean, you come over here to the trade calculator and it gets interesting really, really fast. We got Raheem Mostert for a 2026 round three pick. That's essentially dust. We have Raheem Mostert and a 2026 round two pick for Jalen Hyatt. So I'm going to trade away Jalen Hyatt and got Raheem Mostert in a, a second back. Goodness gracious. Like Raheem Mostert's another guy that I'd be targeting. So like I said, I know I said three, ended up giving you four. So appreciate you guys so much for tuning in this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to 2000 subs and we're only going up from here. We're never going to stop. We're always going to keep grinding. So I appreciate you guys for all your support. Here are two more videos to check out if you haven't already and I'll catch you tomorrow on the next one. Peace.